Hi, my name's Pete Brown and welcome to the second of my video blogs where we go around different parts of the country each month and try local beers from there. And this month we're in Wales. In fact, we're in the very heart of Wales. This is Brecon and it's a place where historically uh, we're on the confluence of major roads going from north to south and east to west. And along those roads there are always coaching inns for people to stay. This is a really old historic coaching inn right in the heart of Brecon, uh, the Boar's Head. Uh, it's a fantastic pub, really great ambience, and for the last few years it's been the brewery tap of a fantastic brewery, the, the Breckenshire Brewery, and I'm going to try a couple of their beers. The first Breckenshire beer that I want to try is called Rambler's Ruin. It's uh, an old ale, and we only bring you this, the very best beers on, on this video blog. Uh, this beer was named Champion Old Ale of Britain back in January, and it was runner-up in the overall Wig Champion Beer of Britain. It's a lovely, beautiful, rich colour. And what I love about this style, and this beer in particular, there's a lovely sherry note to it. It's very, got a kind of alcohol warmth to it. Um, and you can almost, almost taste uh, a wood-aged aspect to it, even though it hasn't been aged in wood. To pack all that character, all that um, personality, uh, and all those different qualities and subtleties into a beer, uh, a relatively low al alcoholic strength is just quite remarkable. A Rambler's Ruin, a couple of pints of this, after you've been up on the be beacons just out here, uh, and you'll just be there by the fire in paradise, I think. I'm very excited about this next Breckenshire beer. Uh, it's quite rare because of the way that it's been made. This is Green Dragon. What makes this beer special is that uh, normally hops are dried, uh, vacuum packed until they're needed. The hops in this beer, something different happened. Uh, they were basically, one minute they were on the vine, four hours later they were in the beer. They were picked, shipped straight to the beer. It really does capture the fresh floral aroma of, uh, of new hops. And what that does is it gives this beer a much fresher, more floral character than you would normally expect. If you've ever crushed hops and rubbed them in your hand and got the, the fresh oils being released, uh, they're captured in this beer. Uh, that makes it really special and quite unique. We've come down from Brecon through the fantastic Brecon Beacons on a brilliant day uh, through to uh, Pontypreeth in the heart of the Rhondda Valley. Probably the best reason to visit now is this place, the Bunch of Grapes. It's a wonderful looking pub. It's got a fantastic restaurant next door. They make their own bread every morning. I think today's speciality is uh, caraway seed and basil. They make their own preserves, marmalades, chutneys, that kind of thing. But more than that, this is the brewery tap for the Otley Brewery, one of my favourites. Now, this pub has been in the Otley family for about 20 years and a few years ago Nick Otley decided that they were selling so much fantastic beer they might as well make their own and we're going to try one of those now. This is uh, Otley Amarillo. The first thing you notice about Otley beers before you even drink them is the really great branding they've got this big bold white O and a black background that runs across all their material and all the names kind of carry that theme through. You've got O1, uh, O2, O8, Garden, Colombo, and so when a, a hop comes along called Amarillo, it's begging to be turned into an Otley beer. It's a North American hop, and it's got a real grapefruity character, which makes it a very refreshing beer and a very, very drinkable beer. But it's also got just a hint of spiciness underneath as well. So you get this lovely, cool, refreshing hit, but also a, a really nice, warming, mellow thing going on as well. We've now come to Abergavenny, which is often called the gateway to Wales. It's a beautiful market town just on the edges of the hills and home to a fantastic food and drink festival. It's kind of a second home to me. I do spend a lot of time here. And the town is surrounded by three big hills, the Sugarloaf, the Skirid and the Blorange, which kind of overlook the town and give it these dramatic views. Um, we're in the King's Arms, uh, a pub in the centre of Abergavenny. It's a fantastic building built in 1450. It survived all kinds of mishaps since then. Uh, got sagging roofs, great oak beams. Uh, and three fantastic beers from the, from the Tudor Brewery. And those beers are named after the, the three hills I mentioned. So I'm going to try the one called Sugarloaf. It's the darkest of the three. It's 4.7%. Maybe it's just the name kind of implanting some suggestions there, but that really conjures up to me a kind of a, a rich malt loaf. Um, I'm getting uh, malt, deep, rich malty flavours, uh, lots of rich fruit as well, uh, hints of coffee and um, chocolate. It's the kind of beer that you want to drink by the fire with some hot buttered toast and cheese. 
so that's kind of central and south Wales and that's our second video blog. Um, the beers we've had have been absolutely wonderful but it feels a bit strange to be moving on uh, because we've only scratched the surface of what's here. Just like every other part of the country there's a brewing revolution going on here but we have to move on. Uh, we've got to move on to a different location next month. Next month we're moving from the country back to the city. We're going to London, uh, my home turf and we're going to be trying some beers in my local. But before we go there I'm finishing this one. It's fantastic. Cheers. <laughs>